The damage in pillage seems to be pretty high. Autoing the level 110 with a full X1 Sovereign fleet gets me 90 minutes of damage, but you can drive it, although it is pretty hard, for a lot lower repair. Hey everyone, Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. I'm going to go through with my full X1 Sovereign fleet with a Sea Serpent crew and try and get the damage as low as I can on the level 110 pillage. If you don't quite have X1, don't quite have the Sea Serpents, don't worry too much. The same techniques I'm going to show apply regardless of where you're at. That being said, I do find the damage to be too high in this pillage, but let's go ahead and make the most of it. As I get started, I want to give a few reminders about what some of this target does. First of all, your ships do have a mechanism when they're stopped for a few seconds. They gain sort of a speed up or charge and have a combat speed boost for a few seconds. That's very important to use against the corrosive turrets right here. This mid-range corrosive turret, and actually these prison guard or Neiman ships, have a ton of corrosive splash damage that's dump fires so you can avoid it if you're moving at a very high speed, which is what that speed boost is for. We also have some UAVs, these don't do any damage to you as long as you have sprints on your fleet. My build will be shown at the end as always. And also some of these corrosive uh, range specific ones, just don't go in the arcs and you'll be fine. The only really guaranteed damage if you drive perfect is going to be the missile turrets right here. These have a really long range, but they should only get one volley off at you. Because what you should do when you're engaging these is just move towards them and take them down in just one shot. By the time all his missiles have landed there, he's going to be dead. Otherwise, getting inside the safe zone works fine. Once that first missile is dead, I'm actually going to go down and trigger the Neiman right here, and then move a little bit further away so I have enough room to engage him. What you want to do with these guys is wait for him to move towards you, and right as he's about to go into your range, as he's about to fire, you want to start moving so that you can have him miss and hit all the way behind you. It is a little bit time consuming, but it does help reduce damage a ton. Let's go ahead and move right here. He's dead, so I'll stop. A very similar principle, actually a little bit easier, applies against these corrosive turrets right here. I'm going to get in the very outside of his range, click right in front of him, and charge towards him. This is the only one I'm going to charge toward, and I am going to shift click this one so I don't hit the other buildings. I'm going to try and get close to this missile turret, so I can actually do a two for one here, kill this one and then this one, before number two fires any additional shots. Moving towards him, very high speed, first one is down, shift click on the second one, and he's going to go down before he fires off a second shot. UAVs are incoming, they don't really do anything though, so that's completely fine. Let's go ahead and kill this gate. We're actually going to avoid this short range one right here and instead hit this next one. I'm going to get pretty close to him, but again, I'm going to actually shift click the directional arc firing one specifically, so I don't take any damage from him. I'm just going to move down and then I'll stop and reevaluate once I get down there. He's dead, everything's hit behind me, UAV launches, that really doesn't matter because they don't do any damage. Now there's this one there towards the top. I think I'm going to go inside and then cut to the left so I don't uh, get too close to the Neiman or the scatter gun or anything else like that. Inside, trigger the Neiman, hopefully cut to the left. Didn't try quite trigger the Neiman, so let's go ahead and come back until we trigger him. Hopefully out of range of the missile and not in range of the firing arc. That's good. He's about to get in range, so start moving. And then let's go ahead and get close to this missile and take him down. I think I wasn't quite at my full speed against the Neiman there, so I might have taken more damage than I needed to, but hey, I'm already driving my ass off in this target, so it's not really worth it for that maybe instant map repair instead of instant base repair. As long as it's under 25 minutes, I'm going to be pretty happy. The bottom right cluster really doesn't do anything to you, as long as you take down all of the incoming uh, or the, the long-range missile before it gets a second shot, a shot off at you, because again, countermeasures are not going to work on that one. Here's the Neiman coming towards me. Rise, he's about to go in my range. Let's move forward. He's going to miss and hit all the way behind me. That's fantastic. Long range missile, that's going to go down pretty easily. Click on the second long range missile and then everything else in the target, apart from the very, very last long range missile, which I'm not going into range of until I'm ready to kill him, is going to go down. And that's actually a pretty good repair for this target. Let's see, he's shooting at me. Hope he doesn't get a second volley off, otherwise I'm taking twice as much damage from that target as I should. He got a few missiles off, but I think they missed. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and check the damage to the battle report, and of course, I will show you the build. Looks like here I was able to drive it quote-unquote perfectly in that it only took penetrative damage. Otherwise, if you mess up, or especially if you're on auto, you will have some corrosive damage. 
and the total repair time for that one is 20 minutes for a pretty much perfect driving. That means that, in, in my mind, Kickside has the damage tuned way too high for this one and should go down. It is possible this is the 6th total 110 I've hit. A few of those were on auto, but it does take some practice to get down. Of course, here is the build, and it will be in my builds document, which is made possible by the channel members, whose names are actually going to be appearing on the end screen now. Several new members here, including Chris J, Rod C, Lord F, Maj, and Steve E. These people are helping keep the channel possible. With that said, and until next time, this is going to be Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.